Hi there, it's Chris here from Technical Finance Box. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure side-to-side -side GRE over IPsec VPN. So basically, we're going to be jumping into action. In this video, I'm going to be using Notepad for the configuration to in order to avoid typos. So basically, we need to, these are the steps that we need to follow. We need to configure the IKE phase one, and that's where the parameter is used for the IPsec will be negotiated. And we're using as a memory jogger Eagle, which means hash authentication, the group, that's the Fielman group, and the lifetime of the tunnel and the encryption type that we're gonna be using. So and the phase two, we're gonna be creating the IPsec transform set. And then we create an IPsec profile and then we apply the profile onto the uh, tunnel interface to protect the tunnel. So we're going to jump into it quickly. So I'm not going to be going into much GRE configuration here because I did a video. I'm going to be putting the link in the description box on how to configure the GRE tunnel. So basically our New York router, these are New York router and these are Dallas router and this is the ISP so we're gonna create we're gonna assign IP addresses here we're gonna create static route from here to here and the next up IP address will be the public interface of the facing the IP I mean facing the ISP and same thing here we're gonna create another static route from here to here and the next up IP address will be this interface of the ISP and then we're gonna create it a GRE tunnel then after that we're gonna secure that tunnel with an IP sec so profile so here is my notepad I have the configurations prepared already so basically this is New York I'm just gonna copy this up to the static route and then to the routing protocol with the GRE the GRE has been copied GRE configuration because we're going to be capturing the traffic as well so that's that for the New York for now and then I'm going to go to the ISP the ISP router that's all we need to do on the ISP router just the, to assign the IP addresses and then that's about that so we look for ISP here. So that's the ISP. Yeah, that is done. And then we go to Dallas. And then the Dallas router. We're gonna yeah, that's a Dallas router. So we do that. Up till the up till the OSPF configuration and the tunnel configuration, and then the tunnel should be up now. Our GRE tunnel should be up now, and then the OSPF neighborship should be up as well. Yeah, the OSPF neighborship is up, so I'm just gonna confirm that quickly. Do show IP OSPF neighbors, and that's gonna be on the tunnel interface that's tunnel 10 and so what I'm gonna do quickly is to assign IP address to PC1 and PC2 and then I'm gonna be capturing the traffic here with Wireshark so the Wireshark capture is gonna start and we're gonna be seeing the USB FLO packets here yeah we can see the USB FLO packets so and that's in plain text and you can see the source and the destination that's the tunnel that is sending it the 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 new this is the the Dallas and this is the New York they're sending it to the all OSPF un multicast address all OSPF routers because this is a point to point OSPF network type so we're gonna get back to our topology and then we're gonna assign IP addresses to these PCs. So PC1 is meant to be IP192.168.1. 
with that 5 and that's a slash 24 and then the, the uh, gateway is 192.168.1.1 here so that should be about that for PC1 yeah so what I'll do then PC2 should be 192.168.3.5 slash 24 and the gateway is 192.168.3.1 yeah just a minute Yeah, 3.0192.168.3.1 should be the gateway. Okay, I didn't put the IP there. I didn't type IP. So, yeah. So, then I'm going to do a continuous ping to that from PC1. So, that will be ping 192.168.3.5. And then here we have dash t so that's gonna be then we go to check the wireshark capture and we can see the icmp echo request and icmp echo reply echo reply we can see the protocol type and we can see the source and the destination from there that is showing us that this is from pc if if i stop the ping now we're gonna see that this is from actually pc1 to pc this is from New York, PC, our host in New York to our host in Dallas. So we can see the request, ping request, as from 1.5, and then the destination is 3.5. So by the time we encrypt the tunnel, we're going to see that's going to change. We won't be able to see that. All we're going to be seeing is the IP, the public IP address. We know going to be seeing it, anything about the, about the host or the tunnel, the OSPF advertise, advert hello packets, we're not going to be seeing that as well. So the next phase we're going to jump into is to go to phase one of our IKE, Internet Key Exchange. So, and then we've got that in our notepad here. So, I'm gonna go to New York. So that's the phase one. We're creating an ISA ISAKMP phase one policy. That's the Internet Security Association Key Management Protocol. So it's actually a framework for authentication and key exchange between two peers to establish, you know, and modify and tear down security associations basically. So we're gonna copy that so these are the things we're gonna be using for the IPsec we're negotiating everything we're gonna be using for it so let's say yeah so we're gonna exit here so then we can now paste that and the lifetime is 86,000 400 seconds that's for 24 hours that's for one day that's the lifetime of the tunnel and then this is the pre-shared key you know the authentication type is pre-shared and then the the encryption is this and then the hash is that and then the, the fearman group is group 14 so and then we're gonna copy this the pre-shared key is technify technify one two three and then the address of our router in our dallas site so we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna paste that we're gonna say enter so that's the phase one so we're gonna be using yeah i made a note here that we'll be using esp as an ip set packet header to deliver security so because it provides confidentiality authentication protection from hackers replaying packets and it also supports NAT traversal 
and it is configured in the transfer, transform set section of the IPsec configuration and it uses protocol number 50 in the IP header so and we'll be using tunnel mode as well to encrypt the entire original packet to add a new set of IPsec headers to it so I can go ahead and configure the transform set and then to put the tunnel the tunnel mode in tunnel as well the IPsec tunnel mode so I say copy my paste and I have exited that and then the next step will be to configure the IPsec profile so and that's the command for it crypto IPsec profile then we name in the profile IPsec underscore profile and then this is the name of the transform set we have created before so that's the AES underscore SHA so I'm going to paste that as well I copy and paste so I'll say enter and then if I now we need to now apply that on our tunnel interface so by the time we apply that the tunnel will go down and the USPF adjacency is gonna be turned down as well so control C and then if you right click it that yeah so so that's about that so we need to go to our Dallas router and begin the phase one here also and then go through all the way to phase two so everything is basically the same so the only thing that is going to change is the IP address so our pay address here is for our New York router or else it won't work if everything is not the same so we're using the policy numbers to be the same the authentication pre-shared key the hash the encryption type AES and then the group and the lifetime and that's about that so we go here and then the pre-shared key as well and that's the password so say exit paste that so we go to to our IPsec yeah to the transform set so and then we name in the transform set AES underscore SHA and then we're using ESP dash AES and then we're using ESP SHA MAC sync SHA H MAC so this is for encryption and this is for hashing so I'm gonna do control C and then we paste that already. So we I'm just gonna press enter and then the same IPsec profile that we have created there is the same thing we are using here. Everything is basically the same. So we go here, we'll say crypto. Crypto IPsec profile, IPsec underscore profile, transform sets, the name of the transform set. Everything is basically the same. I have the tunnel, the IPsec tunnel will not come up. So then we go to our tunnel interface, and then now we should have everything back up. Our tunnel should be our IPsec tunnel should be up now and our OSPF here. Yeah. So we can see our OSPF adjacency. So if we go here now, everything will be ESP, ESP. So, and then we have, we should have six main mode messages and then three quick modes, but yeah, main mode one, two, three, four, five, six. So we should have three quick modes, one, two, three. So maybe he did it twice. So because we are when we are using main mode we have six messages and then the that's for the phase one and then for the phase two we have three messages quick mode. So all the packets now is gonna be ESP. It's gonna be an encapsulating security payload. So 
you're not gonna be seeing the sauce of anything. Everything we're gonna be seeing in Wireshark is going to be ESP, and the source address is going to be our public IP address. So I'm gonna be pinging now so that we can test that. So continuous ping like I did before from PC1 because the Wireshark capture is still on. So everything is going to be ESP, ESP, and the the source address normally should be the 192.168.1.5 but the source address we're going to be seeing here is going to be the public one so this should come up we should be seeing that here yeah, because the capture is still on so I don't know why that is not coming here okay it's actually coming yeah esp esp yeah that's our ping but we can see the protocol is all esp we cannot see icmp anymore and the source address is from our public interface and then the destination is to our other tunnel destination so and in order to i'm just gonna stop this ping now so in order to verify so I'm going to say control C and then I'm just going to do show crypto control Z say show crypto I say so we can see is active so everything is okay and then that's the source and that's the destination so from the other side that's the source that's the destination so and if you say show crypto so let's say ipsec sa and then we're gonna see the packets that has been encapsulated 94 packets encrypted packets 94 so and the packets that has been the encapsulated 92 the ones that has been decrypted 92 as well so that means everything is and if we go to our tunnel interface to verify the tunnel mode so we can say show show interface tunnel 10 so we'll see the tunnel source it has to be saying something showing ipsec yeah, okay tunnel protocol we can see from here tunnel protocol transport as ipsec ip so we are good so thanks for watching if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel until next time yeah, bye